What's up guys, it's Mo. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make some planner accessories, specifically some like tortoise shell looking planner accessories um, without using your Cricut or your Silhouette for the most part. There's one DIY in here where if you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette, I bet you can do it with a like circle punch. Mine is too big. Um, I will try and see if I can find one to link for you guys, but mine is too big to do it uh, with the, or if you had maybe like some sort of circle cutter, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so most of these DIYs, all of these DIYs, you can do without a Cricut or Silhouette. There's one where I do use my Cricut and I will provide, or, or my Silhouette, but I will provide both a Cricut and a Silhouette file for you guys um, to use. But I've been seeing, and it's been popular, these beautiful tortoise shell style planner accessories. Um, and I cannot find any that specifically fit my classic size, so I decided to make some. Um, I fell in love with the tortoise shell. Um, like I said, I've seen covers and folders and everything. And then Zach, I asked for these for Christmas. I think I'm gonna put them on my work planner. Um, these are one inch, I think they're circa tort tortoise shell discs. So they're much smaller than the like Happy Planner classic size discs. This is like a really dusty disc for some reason. Um, so I think I'm gonna put these on my work planner. Then I also had these that are one and a half inches, but the tool stuff doesn't seem to be too compatible with Happy Planner um, stuff because the disc's punch, I think, is quite long. And so then that gets in the way of it turning. I don't, I don't know. But once I put all my pages on these discs, I couldn't turn them at all. So I'm in love with tortoise shell and I was like, I need to find a way to flip and do this because I need tortoise shell things in my life. So I went on Amazon and I found these tortoise shell pattern poly translucent file folders. So you get six, eight, you get eight in a pack. You get six in a pack. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. You get six in a pack. You get two of these like more spread out type of pattern. And then you get four of the more like tighter knit. I don't know what you would say pattern of tortoise shell. I have used one already to make this dashboard. I use this with the, um, Cricut page, just to make a dashboard, the like Cricut uh, file in the shop that makes the classic size page, that's what this is. It's not a cover size or anything, it's just a classic size page. So I'm gonna pop this out because I'm gonna use this as a template um, for making a template for making this. And the reason I say that is because you're not going to be able to use your Happy Planner punch to punch this guy. It's going to be too thick. Um, I did buy this. We're not going to be using this in this tutorial, um, but you can see it does have the punch here. If you, you can totally use this to do this tutorial, I just want to show you how to use the arc punch because I think maybe more people will have this since this just came out, but I will do a tutorial using this, making another planner cover. So keep a lookout for that. I do want to say though, that I, if you go to do this tutorial, you don't have to make the template like I'm going to make because the stem here on uh, this is designed the the templates I have in the shop are exactly to the dimensions of like um, the happy planner punch so that they will fit and match up with your pages this one here if we line this up on their guide the the stem is slightly longer so you may want to make your page slightly bigger whereas if you're using which i'm going to explain this which you're using the arc punch it's good the stem is going to be slightly shorter which is why we need to make this template so that the pages line up and actually i can show you let me take this off without ruining my life um this is from Notique brand and it is also um like an arc punch size and you can see when you line the punches up um, I'm hoping you can see that. I think my monitor is frozen. When you line the punches up, it um, 
the the what do you call it like the tortoiseshell thing I made is slightly longer so if we were to cut this page size and just punch it with our arc punch it's going to hang off a little bit so that's why we need to make this template also if you were to cut this size and punch it here it's going to be too short a little bit because this is longer so you want to compensate for that um like I said, I'm gonna do a tutorial using this, so we're not using this today. I can't get it to lock back. We're not using this today, but this is something, it's the We Are Memory Keepers, um, like disc bound punch guy from Michaels. So, but yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Today, we are gonna to have to compensate for the shortness of the stem on this little, um, on the, the arc punch. So what we are going, actually, I'm going to take this, I'm going to punch this back in. And you can see, I'm hoping you can see like the little, if you pull this all the way flat with the rings or the discs, you can see this hangs over a little bit. It doesn't really matter if you have it as a cover because it kind of sits, it's fine. doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give that out there. If you don't have the templates from the shop, use a daggum happy planner uh page like just pull out a page from your planner use a notes page whatever you have you don't have to have this this template again you don't have to have this template so what i'm gonna do is i am going to actually i'm doing this with you guys so we, like i like I, i'm saying meaning i've never done this before so let's see i'm just gonna punch this so i have my arc punch I got this either online or from Office Depot or Staples or something. So I'm just going to use a piece of printer paper as the template that I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna punch this. And you can already see, I'm hoping, that the stem is smaller. You see what I'm saying? The stem is smaller, so we're gonna have to compensate for that. So. I am going to see if we can line this up or zoom it in rather and this is might be hard to tell what I'm doing is lining up the little mushroom caps I'm lining up the mushroom caps with my template so this has a little bit of overhang here let me see if I can scoot this up it has a little bit of overhang because I want when I trim when I create my my dashboard i don't want to have the overhang over the 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 pages i want it to be flush with my happy planner or disc bound you know happy classic size disc bound pages so i am going to grab a random pin this is like a pink friction pin and it has a really fine tip on it and i'm just going to i'm kind of out of frame but i'm just tracing my template so i'm just trace i just traced it now i'm going to cut it i may have to go get my new cutter my new um paper trimmer this one is kind of old but i'm just lining it up and i'm gonna trim it down hopefully I do want to, this is random, but I do want to tell you guys, don't trust your printer and don't trust your paper trimmer. Sometimes I feel like this paper trimmer doesn't cut square. And so I have to kind of like line it up differently because it won't, it just won't cut square. And then I won't have square things. So now you can see this page is, let's zoom back out here. This page this page the white page is much shorter than the dashboard that i made using the template that i have in the shop with my cricut but when they're on the discs they're going to be flush with with each other so that's what we want to use to make our template so i have an extra page here i don't know if you would call it extra page um but the back half of the file folder and i will say some of these most all of them have these little divots so that if the folder is big you know you can um i don't know if the folder is big does that make sense if the folder is bigger <laughs> if the files get huge they kind of compensate and fold out you can just move over and not use those you can use the back i mean just 
don't don't waste a whole page because you have these lines here um, we will end up using this to make a um, full a folder for your planner but just don't worry about those lines just move over and use it so what I'm gonna do is locate the template I just made and then promptly lost okay so now I like I said this is from an old or the the back half of the folder that I made this one from when I used my Cricut so I'm just I've just trimmed it I cut it in half I'm gonna use this guy as my template right and we will just I might have to again and you're gonna have some stuff left over so you might want to think oh should I cut it this way and make a page divider Ooh, that might be something so let's actually do that because how tall is this so yeah, this is gonna be slightly taller to make a good um, page divider. If you cut it maybe this way, it would be obviously significantly taller. You could trim it down. I'm going to go ahead and trim this way first. So let's line it up like this. Line it up like this. And again, I mean, you could use your like what do you call it? Um, what is this called? Inches, your ruler to line it up. I'm just going to cheat and use my little template guy here. So then we will just trim that guy down, line him up again over here, push this through here, lay that down make sure things are square sweet deal we'll move our cutter out of the way we can also use this to kind of line up our punches here there's also like a guide on your arc punch Whoa, as I just completely rip it out, but I don't really necessarily use that. I probably should, but let's see. Let's hope. That's pretty close. Okay, so now where to put my planner? You have... dashboard you can see it's a little bit shorter but if you're doing this for everything it's not it's not going to matter but it lines up perfectly with your pages it is going to fit flush to the side so there you go now we have our dashboard and this is I did a tutorial on how to laminate and cut you can do the same thing I use the template um, from the shop but you can do the same thing with this um, this tutorial. So I'll leave that tutorial linked where I laminated some fun, uh, tissue paper. You can do the same thing. So now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and take this guy, right? And we'll make our like page marker thing. What's really cool is if you have a corner chomper, it would probably be nice to go ahead and round your corners. Should we round the bottom? Yeah, I think we should. So there's that. This one, this punch right here, it's kind of dark. This punch right here might clip into the top. So I'm gonna actually move it up and I'm gonna use this as like an alignment guide again. You can even do this if you wanted to do my planner charm tutorial. I'll leave that link below. You could make the little planner charm clip in thing that way I think that's probably good enough I'm gonna take out this you can make the little clip in charm planner charm thing that way using this as a bookmark oh I didn't get the top one what the heck and what let's see See if this punch is right. 
I think it did. Ha ha. Okay, sweet. For some reason, I didn't punch this top one. Okay. So now, break my planner back out. You have a little page marker. Again, you could use it. You could use the longer side and do the um, little planner charm tutorial where I used, I used this some packaging, leftover packaging from a happy planner or something and, you know, made a little planner charm type of deal, but you could totally use this and put your planner charm down there. So I'm going to take this out. We have that. Now we're going to move on to something I've only imagined. Like I figured this, this stuff that I'm doing now <laughs> would work because why wouldn't it work? Um, I think I'm going to use this one. Now what we're going to do is make a folder. So do I have an example out? I think I do. The Happy Planner has folders that, yes, I think this is going to work. The Happy Planner has folders that go in the back of your planner, right? I have seen these also in various like shops and stuff. So what we're going to do, and I think I want to have the folder go this way instead of this way. You think that's, or maybe I should have it go this way. You're going to need some double-sided tape for this, which I have to run and get, and I hope I know where it is. Um, and you also want to center, we're going to need also like a little marker, center your punches to the open side because we want to have your punches need to be on the open side. We want to have this fold for the folder and you want to leave um, some space down here so you can create an envelope kind of flap to fold back. So what I think we should do is start by trimming this down to the right width and then we'll worry about height and everything. So. Make sure everything is lined up. Beep. Okay. Trim. Okay. Again, save these pieces, use them for something. I don't know. You trim this piece, use it for your divider or your page marker. Okay. So I think I'm gonna leave maybe that much at the end. It's about three quarters of an inch, I think, probably at the end. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to leave that so you can fold it over. Again, I hope this is helpful for you guys because I am doing this with you. This is the first time I've ever thought about it. Okay. Trim it down. Now what we want to do is open this. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, because we want to want to trim this off. Do we want to use scissors? Maybe we should use scissors. Maybe we should use some scissors. something that looks like this. Now, we also want to, should I do the pocket this way? I've seen the pocket be this way. Do I want to do the pocket? This, it doesn't matter. I can make another one if I want to, right? So I've seen it where the pocket is like this. Let's do the pocket this way. Let's do the pocket this way. So, Yeah, let's do the pocket this way. Let's take something that has a straight edge and this kind of has a straight edge and decide where we want this to be cut. And 
I don't think I have a permanent marker, but we're gonna use this marker and see how it works. Okay, can you even see that line? I drew that line like that. We probably could be precise, but can you see that line? Like this? I'm going to use scissors. Ah. And I'm probably going to be out of frame. But yeah, I'm just cutting this. Also, don't use these scissors. These are like dollar spot scissors that I just found on my desk. Now we'll just cut this. Little flap off here. Sweet. So we have this. And I should have done this the other way. Um, but now, maybe we'll just fold it up under and put it under. Yeah, I should have left it on this side. Oh well. So, what are we going to do now? I think now... What we're gonna do is, I think this is called beveling. We're gonna bevel these edges to make our little envelope guy. Okay, don't wanna cut too far. Okay, now what we want to do is I'm going to try and find like a ballpoint pen. I think this will probably work. You can, if you have a scoring tool, which I think I do, yeah, if you have a scoring tool, you can totally do this, but you can also just use like a ballpoint pen or something. And I have a really soft like mat here that I film on. Did I just cut that? I think I did just cut that. That's why it's not like totally straight. So I'm going to kind of score this if I can. I think I did a little bit because we're going to want to bend it. Maybe I should have scored it on the other side. Let's flip it over. Whoa! You're kind of trying to press a little bit hard to kind of score it. Ooh, can you see that? You should see my desk, guys. Okay. So now, oh yeah, you can turn this over like this. And you can use something like our scissors. My pen just fell to kind of score it down to lay flat. Let's see. We can also bend it the other way. Try and see if creating that fold will help it. Okay. Now we can use our double-sided tape and tape this. So let me get the double-sided tape. I think what we want to do first before we do that because we may need to have this like lay a little bit flat to get it to stay flat. And I think I need to trim a little bit off. First off, what I'm gonna do though is punch this guy. And I think, again, I don't know because I don't want it to go through this edge here. I don't know what you guys can see. So should I just do it this way? Maybe I should just line it up again this way and use this as a template at the top. Okay, make sure we get all the holes this time. Okay, let's try it. 
say I may have broken it. <laughs> but I didn't. Okay. So now we can get the double-sided tape. And I was thinking maybe I needed to put like double-sided tape here, but I don't think I will because that's just gonna clip into your planner and then I might still have to, so then I'd have to punch it again. But I didn't wanna punch through like three layers of stuff. So let me go get double-sided tape. I have just scotch double-sided adhesive tape, so. They probably make better tape for this, like that really strong craft tape. So I recommend using that, but this is what I have. And I literally just was like, I wanna do this video. I know it's gonna work, you know? So. Yeah, I think I would use stronger tape for this because it might come apart. And also I would put this under a book or something to see if it will keep it a little bit flat because you don't want your stuff falling out everywhere. So, but let's stick this. I needed, I needed this because I don't like the way this folder that I've had in there forever um, hangs out in the back and doesn't match everything. So yeah, look, and now it's flush with your planner pages. It doesn't stick out any, any farther, even though it has the shorter stems. So I don't know, I don't have anything to stick in here. Let's take some of this. Boop, boop stick that in there and yeah I would either leave this in your planner closed for a little bit or maybe put some double-sided tape there and repunch it but then it should I'm gonna put my uh, pin loop on there too but it should be okay because of the weight of your planner is on it so that's how, what's that the third DIY one two three the third DIY Okay, the fourth DIY is the one where you probably are going to need your Cricut or your Silhouette or something. But if you were to have a smaller hole punch, maybe even just a one inch, I think they make a one inch hole punch. This may be it. If you had a three quarters, I don't know. If you had a smaller, maybe this is the one inch hole punch. These are just over an inch though. So this can't be the one inch hole punch. I will try and find a hole punch for you guys, but because I loved these discs, I thought I wanna make my own. So I have just regular black Happy Planner discs and I made a pattern for you guys. I made this pattern, like this is a digital pattern that I made and put them in the center of my discs. Now, as far as I know, this shouldn't, if it's so thin, you'll wanna use real thin sticker paper. The sticker paper I have is the Weatherproof Matte from um, Online Labels, but you'll wanna do that because use thin paper and then also maybe this weatherproof stuff so it doesn't bleed and it doesn't scrape off and whatever. I've given Marcus a bath with one of these stickers like on the back of my hand from planning and it didn't bleed, it didn't come off anything. So basically, pretty much, I don't know why these are so daggum dusty, probably because I haven't used them, but you might wanna clean them off with alcohol or something um, just so it'll stick better. But you're gonna need, there's a butt ton of these on here. So you'll need at least 18. But all you do is place the sticker. You'll cut these with your Cricut. I'm gonna give you a PNG file as well as a, um, a silhouette file. Um, you'll need 18. I think I was trying to say that. You'll need 18 and there should be 18. I only made it in silhouette right now. There should be 18 on the Cricut file as well. But you pretty much just lay these in the middle. Well, this is hard to do, kind of showing you guys. 
and then press it down. And then you flip it over and do the same thing. My silhouette was like, you know, I want to cut this apparently. And it's pretty, this sticker paper I have is one expensive but it, it's worth it. You, I mean, I, if, don't just buy it for this project though. Buy it and print your stickers on it because it's such a nice quality paper. But now you have these beautiful discs. Something I want to try though is clear sticker paper. I don't know if they make like weatherproof clear sticker paper, but clear sticker paper and clear discs to kind of get that translucent, you know, look to your to your discs to get you know this and I was thinking what if I cut this and inlaid this which you could try uh inlaid this in the discs because they do have like a little lip around them but I'm afraid that it's going to be uh putting one on either side is going to make it too thick and then your pages won't turn so that is my concern but yeah you should be able to just it doesn't have really any bearing on the thickness of your you know your discs so yeah you just rinse and repeat with whatever patterns that you like i have my phone is going off again okay uh whatever pattern you know and you can even do this design your own whatever pattern you want to cut into a circle and I'm also going to leave this pattern I made down in the description for you guys in case you want to use it for something. It'll be free for personal use, but if you want to use it for something, you, you totally can. So that is the DIY for today. I'm sorry this video was kind of long. I wanted to show you guys, you know, some planner things that you can do without using your Cricut and whatnot. And like I said, if you have, I do think they make like some sort of like circle cutter type of thing. Um, you could use that. Um, you can find, I'll see if I can find a smaller hole punch. You can use that. Um, but yeah, so if you don't have your Cricut, you don't have a Cricut, you don't have a silhouette, you can totally do these DIYs. Um, I think a lot more people will have the arc punch that seems to be real popular when people are trying to add things to their planners, uh, their disc bound planners when the uh, heavy planner punch wouldn't work. And then also you can do the same thing with the, it'll take a little bit longer because you have to punch these one at a time. But um, yeah, so that will, that will work as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around, see what other planner DIY videos and, you know, things that I have for you. I love to share with you guys the, how to make easy stuff, you know, for your planners. And right now I'm in a classic size disc bound planner. So that's what we're working on. But yeah, I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.